JP Morgan Healthcare Conference in San Francisco, and joining me in the studio this afternoon is George Ye from TLC. George, good to see you. Yes, nice to meet you. So, George, I know that your company is focused on some innovative uh, therapies, more effective therapies, mm -hmm. I should say, uh, in the area of oncology and pain management. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're working on? Sure. Um, TLC, basically, we use uh, our unique uh, nail particle uh, delivery system to, uh, really doing two things. One is really on the targeting delivery side. The other one is sustained release. On the targeting delivery side, basically, we're able to bring drug from A place to B place much more efficient. We can bring high payload of drug to the site. Um, so one of the challenge for a lot of uh, traditional uh, type of uh, oncology product is the toxicity. So by pack, packing high loads of these uh, using our technology, we're able to bring it to the target site and releasing it. So that's on the targeting side. Okay, so um, let me step back for just sure. a minute here. Let's, let's talk about that because yeah. I'm, I'm very interested in that and the whole area of precision medicine. <laughs> um, so your, your delivery system is mm -hmm. taking, uh, in, so in the normal or the right. old treatments, right. right, in oncology, right. Um, a lot of the treatments would damage some of the good cells yes. around the tumor that we're trying to um, get rid of. Mm -hmm. The way that I'm understanding you telling me is your delivery mechanism is hitting that target square, right square on, minimizing the effect that it's having on the good tissue or the good cells around that tumor. Right, um, you're, you're totally correct. Um, so basically it really, so as we understand in terms of the tumor site, uh, what, what it does is um, it starts to uh, grow in the, into a tumor and you see a lot of leaky area in the, especially near the tumor site. And this leaky area is usually about 400 to 500 nanometer. Um, the way we do it, we design our nail particle to be about 80 to 100 nanometer. So when it delivered to the site, it can permeate through. We're looking about, you know, they were looking about, you know, traditionally probably less than 1% get to the target site. We're able to bring up to the 10%. Now 10% is still not that big, but if you're comparing to the original 1%, you're looking about 10 times, which means you can use lesser dose and then much more efficiently uh, to the target site. And then at the same time, during the delivering process, the drug is being protected. That's how it's you know, um, not creating um, any toxicity in, in, in the delivering process. So 1% mm -hmm. the old way, 10% yes. in your way, yes. delivering right to that target, yes. right to that tumor, yes. and then lowering the toxicity that yes. the patient and the, some of the side effects that we normally see in patients that uh, are under care for cancer. Right, right. And then we even take it another step further. Um, basically, uh, by adding antibody or lichen on the surface of these nail particles, so not only get to the tumor site, we're able to trigger these receptor on the uh, tumor site, such as you know her, her, her two overexpressed type of patient, right. able to bring the nail particle inside to the cellular. So imagine it's like bombing it outside and then going into the house and then bomb it. That's how it works. Yeah. So, so George, where are we? When can we expect this uh, novel technology to be brought to market? Okay, so we already have um, uh, the nail particle that uh, launched uh, in Asia already. Uh, we have a product um, which is targeting for ovarian cancer patients. It's already launched in Asia and hopefully we'll bring that uh, to, the, uh, to the U.S. as well as in Europe soon. Um, we also have a couple of clinical uh, programs. Uh, one is basically uh, for liver cancer patients. That's in phase two type of clinical trial right now. Um, as you know, uh, the area that we're in in Asia, um, HCC is probably the most uh, deadly disease in that in that area, and there's not that many good treatment for it. Uh, one of the thing is uh, we're able um, we're able to treat treat um, patient right now. Uh, right now, it's in phase two clinical. So TLC, mm -hmm. um, what what's on the horizon? You've got these products in market. Mm -hmm. um, what are your research scientists working on next? Okay, oh, that's a very good question. So there's um, also another type of depot technology that we're working on. 
is is mostly targeting into as a sustain release type of platform. So we're able to develop these type of depot technology, put in different pocket of space, um, such as ophthalmology, such as uh, OA. Um, so one of the uh, challenge or one of the um, challenge for ophthalmology right now is, especially for these type of uh, renal disease, you need to inject it intravitreally once every month or once every two months. Okay? Um, and if you imagine this patient, um, they're usually at late 50, and uh, let's say if they have a lifespan going to 80, 90, you need to inject it probably close to 300 plus times. Um, our depot technology allowed the drug to sustain release so we can um, do it once every four to six months instead of once every month. So you dramatically reduce the dose frequency. Um, like 300 times, you can divide it by six, which is you know, much, much less. I mean, it's still not as good, but it's, I mean, you're looking at about you know, one-sixth of it at a time. And then now this is in a clinical program. As so, well. so George, is, is this an injectable or an oral solid? Or it's, a, it's an injectable. It's an injectable. It's still intravitreal because it's very hard, um, especially for AMD, these type of patients, it's very hard to bring the drug um, to the back of the eye orally. And um, so, so it's still in the in, intravitreal um, type of injection. Yeah. Well, George, uh, it's fantastic work that you're doing. I really admire the products that you're bringing to market. I know that the FDA, mm -hmm. especially in some of the oncology mm -hmm. areas, is really really looking to fast track some of these yes. um, therapies and get them to market quicker to save patients' lives. Are you able to take advantage of some of that fast track programs that the FDA has? Yes, no, uh, that's, that's a very good question, Dave. Um, so uh, one of our oncology product that's targeting for uh, liver cancer, we got the open drug status. Uh, right now it's in phase two. We are planning our discussion with the FDA right now on the special protocol, uh, which will allow us to uh, fast track and to define the pivotal endpoint. And once we reach that, and of course they will, they will tend to fast track if you do reach that endpoint. Well, George, this is certainly great news for patients yeah. uh, and caregivers. Mm -hmm. um, I wish you all the best, and uh, please keep us posted on your progress. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you very much.